Dear Cobra, I don't know if you will ever receive this message, but it is what it is. Now, I'm not going to cap the fact that anything that has your name attached to it blows up, kind of motivated me a bit further to write this letter and publish it. Does that make me a clout chaser? I don't think so. But what I can say is that I will keep it real. At first, I had mixed feelings about you when I saw you on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Yes, it was cool to see a four times kickboxing world champion that actually had drip and game. It was different, but at a certain point, I thought you was just too cocky. But regardless, you made a lot of valid points. One thing that scares me now is that despite the fact that I knew you were speaking facts, I still felt weird about saying to myself, okay, I support this guy. And I can 100% say that is because of all the negative propaganda and cancellation agendas that were targeting you. And that right there is some scary shit. The system had me doubting your integrity on a subconscious level. Despite, despite, clear despite evidence, clear evidence, evidence that you were that saying, you were saying the, the truth. truth. And that is coming from a guy that is quite open-minded. As I write this letter, I'm starting to really see what you mean by matrix. This is literally the world we live in. We are kept under control, influenced to have certain opinions, behave in certain ways, to consume certain things only, to let these companies consume us in the form of selling our private information all on a subconscious level. So we stay under the illusion that we are free. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me stop right there. This is not a conspiracy letter I am writing to you, but more of a thank you. Thank you for standing up for masculinity in a time where men's attempt to tap into the power of his manhood can easily be labelled as toxic or even misogynistic, then it will be the same woman that will then complain that men are too soft. I might not always like the way you delivered things, but I guess the more brutal it is, the more attention it gets, right? I would like to thank you for letting men all over the world know that depression is not an excuse for mediocrity. That we should use negative emotions like heartbreaks and convert that pain into work. To use it as fuel to get to our destination in life. Thank you for being honest, Cobra. And don't think for a second that I don't see the free business game you give out especially when it comes to selling. Also, I love the advice that you give on how to protect your money when you're rich. And I'm definitely going to use them tips to keep my millions. Thank you for showing us what true brotherhood looks like. For showing what two brothers can accomplish when they truly have each other's back. As for myself, I don't have any siblings, but I do know what it's like to love friends and family and to want the best for them. Say what going to Tristan for me, alright? Cobra, one thing that made me gravitate towards you is the fact that you have the routine of a true warrior. You wake up, you train, you grind, you go back to sleep and repeat. That is how I live too and my people can vouch for me. We are samurais. I might not be as strong as someone like you yet, but I am on my way to become the strongest in the world. And some training with Tristan and yourself definitely wouldn't hurt. I am willing to learn, so share some of that wisdom with a brother. In a nutshell, I wrote this letter with the goal of expressing what many young men have been wanting to say, and also as a covering letter in order to become your trainee. <coughs> <clears throat> Even though I still have 5% doubts 
that you could be a double agent of the matrix that still respects and appreciate you. Salam. Tanam Scott.